Hello, Pop Pickers. This is Cameron Daniels, and this is me doing my Bolton blog, my weekly Bolton blog. Um, so, what's happened to Bolton this week? Well, well, Buckley has signed for us, the winger from Sunderland. Uh, is he any good? Well, people say he is, but who knows? It wouldn't be at the top of my free transfer list. But then again, we can't afford that free transfer um, that we'd all like, or the ones that we'd all like. I say rather than one because it's not one there's loads anyway uh, we signed him so hopefully he'll do well for us he's got lots of championships for experience he's played well against us in the past so maybe he'll do the job he's got something to prove and that's got to be a good thing because that means he's got motivation he's got a bit of hunger behind him um, what else Jisper still hasn't uh, signed a new contract with us we just want to sign one ship him out if they don't want to play for us fuck off Understand by us? Fuck off. If you do want to sign for us, just do it. Don't hang us out to drive with the amount of money that you want to have, like Dean Moxie did. That pellet from doing virtually nothing in the time of the bone. Or, um, who else stole the wedge? Matt Davis stole the wedge. Um, yeah. Bye bye to you, thank God. No more injuries. Screwing up us big style. Um, anyway. That diverts from what I was actually going to talk about, which is the wages issue. Yes, um, this week it was announced that Bolton haven't paid, paid, can't even bloody well speak, haven't paid uh, the latest bonuses for the uh, coming second in League One last season. However, the fact is, Bolton haven't got the cash at this moment in time because it's all tied up because uh, they don't really get any money. Uh, in the close season. The season hasn't started, so they haven't got any money yet. Uh, so you can sort of understand why that's happened. And actually, there is a really, really good uh, note from the chairman, uh, Ken Anderson, about why he's not paid it. And it's all to do with cash flow. And it's all to do with actually when he's had to pay it. And actually, in future, they'll be looking at when they're going to pay certain bonuses because actually it doesn't make any sense to pay it when they've got no money. So you can sort of understand that. He's also reluctant to put more money into us um, because he's still not sole owner and still hasn't got any extra uh, finance into the, into the club because, of course, the Blue Marble Dean Holdsworth shit is still ongoing. Dean Holdsworth, you ass. You really are an ass. Why couldn't you have sorted this out without you needing to go to court? And it's the, now the last... I mean, this is the last time it can be heard. If you're not careful, Sports Shield, BWFC, will be wound up. Admittedly, that probably won't have an impact on the club, but it's not good either way. Uh, the fact is, though, it needs sorting out. Ken Anderson's obviously put a decent offering of millions, wherever he's got that from, um, and he wants to buy it and then put extra financing for other people. Sorry if you heard that, that is actually dry that's on, and it's just, just done out. <sighs> Interrupts me when I'm doing this. So, anyway, uh, hopefully the Blue Marble thing will be sorted out by the time it goes back to court, which I'm not particularly confident about, and I don't think anybody is, let's be honest. But sooner it's sorted out, the better for everybody concerned. So, where does that leave us? Well, hopefully in the next few weeks, the Blue Marble will be sorted out, we will get extra investment into the club through other sources, which I know a lot of people were saying it was going to be a digital bank, we're going to be putting money in, as the Nairwaf offices at Macron, um, and hopefully we then get the embargo side, well that's it, the accounts are going to be filed, is it tomorrow, Monday, they're going to be filed from what I've just read online. Either way, that's when we found that could help us get out of embargo. And if that does, then we can start actually buying players. Um, I've heard lots of different rumours about people that are going to be bought. Um, there's a rumour that I've heard, uh, that I saw online, uh, we're going to buy a Norwegian forward. He currently plays for Hearts. Yeah, he's obviously had a, played at the highest level playing for Hearts for grass, isn't it? Uh, Bluff Football League but he's played for Hearts and they think we're going to buy him but obviously
obviously we can't buy him because we can't actually pay any transfer fees so the embargo is sorted so maybe we are going to get it sorted who knows there is a rumour in Scotland that that is happening though um, and let's be honest we do need more forwards but ones that played in blow football you probably aren't the best ones to go for that's just my opinion what do I know I'm not a football person there you go uh, if you like this and thought it was just one blown on quite a lot then uh, give it a like anyway if you didn't like it take a high jack you know what to do go and fuck yourself in reality uh, and if you did like it give it a subscribe and even better still share um, see, you, see you again next week when hopefully I've got my teeth in I can actually talk to people